Hey everybody, I just want to show y'all a quick tip for how I repair broken or split pencils. Um, this happens quite a bit actually with my Prismacolor. Now this is a watercolor pencil, but um, uh, it's I was using a hand sharpener and it just split right down the seam. You know, because whenever they're making these, they have little half casings and stuff. Now, don't throw this pencil away, you know, if that happens. You can actually take it and hold it together quite firmly. And push it into an electric sharpener. Um, but you have to hold it, like, I mean, like, super firm. Um, but that's only a temporary measure, because then you still have your pencil splitting all over the place on you. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take an old and funky um cheapo paintbrush and some wood glue you know since it's a wooden pencil and all and I'm just gonna get in here and I'm gonna get some wood glue and I'm gonna spread this down oh just the whole length of it And, I mean, you can go ahead and be kind of generous. It's not going to be pretty whenever it's done. It's, it's never going to look like a brand new perfect pencil, but um, it at least makes it usable again. And I'm just spreading this on pretty evenly, trying to at least. Getting it all down in those little crevices and stuff. Now, this is going to put a coating of wood glue on the outside of your uh, pigment, like the, the crayon part in the middle of it, whatever that's called. The actual colored part of the colored pencil. So there we go. And now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to line it up as best as I can. And I want to smoosh the crap out of it and get that to make a nice, secure bond. Again, trying to make sure it's nice and lined up. There we are. The little foil line there on the end really helps. Um, and then to hold that down, I know I've got, there it is. Some of the same tape that I use to tape down my paper when I'm drawing or painting on it. Just a low-tack painter's tape or masking tape. And I'm just going to take this and tear off a little strip. And I'm going to use this as a, uh, like a clamp. Pardon my dog, he's kicking himself in the head. If you can hear that weird noise. And I am just cinching this down. Now, and you can leave the tape on there for like ever, um, I guess. But I honestly take it off before sharpening it. Because you don't want to gunk up the inside of your sharpening machine with tape. But, if you need to use your pencil, like, right away, go ahead and, uh, leave the tape on there to hold everything nice and tight. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off camera. And just bring it around. Now, that little bit of coating of the wood glue that's going to be on the outside of the pencil lead, um, it doesn't matter because you don't color with that part. You color with the tip, which is the center like the core, um, and so as you sharpen it, that dried wood glue will just kind of go away. Um, so that's that's how I repair my pencils. I mean, they can get kind of expensive, so um, and I, I hate to waste a resource. And um, I haven't had any splitting actually once I started using this kind of electric sharpener, because I mean, you can just take it and. It's quite powerful, but again, the tape gets in the way, so I'm not going to be doing too much more sharpening on this one until, um, until I've removed that tape, but, uh, I really recommend this. Um, both the, all, all the tools and materials used will be down in the video description below, so, like, the pencil sharpener, the pencils, which, I mean, they are really good watercolor pencils. Like, don't let the fact that they split turn you off to it. Prismacolor is an excellent, like, uh, definitely an excellent step up from Crayola. 
but I mean it's not the fanciest on the market but it's also not the most expensive on the market either so I do hope this video was helpful to you guys if y'all have any questions or comments or recommendations um just uh, leave a comment down below. My best way for, uh, just in case some of y'all ask, if your lead splits, I was really lucky on this one that the lead remained intact. Um, I actually take my heat gun to it and uh, kind of just heat it up and kind of like smush it together. It's kind of a little bit like repairing a broken lipstick. Um, I mean, not exactly the same, but I experiment with that a little. Um, you know, I've also just re-glued it against the wood on the inside and then kind of pressed everything right into place. Uh, you want to be real careful, though, to not get wood glue in between the lead because then it'll get scratchy on your paper and stuff. But it'll at least keep it from slipping out um, the other end. And that's if it splits and breaks. If it just breaks, um, you can leave your pencils end up on your, the dashboard of your car. Um, and it'll kind of melt possibly and reattach itself or you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, I'd stick with dry heats. I mean, you don't want to set your pencils on fire, but, uh, you also don't want to saturate the wood because that can, um, kind of complicate, you know, where the, the pieces of cedar were joined together. Um, it might start splitting if you expose it to moisture, like a, a steam or anything like that. Also, I don't know about microwaving pencils, like, I've never tried it because I don't know if that's actual metal on the end or not, and I just, I don't know, have any of y'all microwaved your pencils before? Like, if you have, let me know. <laughs> um, again, though, I do hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, if you enjoy my free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them, as well as participate in my monthly craft crates and my fairy house giveaways and all the different things that we do here at Back to Earth Creations, um, Check me out on Patreon, there'll be links down below, or maybe a little bubble thing popping up on the sides of the screen. Um, I really appreciate all of y'all's constant support and encouragement and inspiration. Y'all are the best, so thank you guys, and uh, happy craft, and I'll see y'all around. Mwah. Bye! <laughs>